Shut up and sit down. morning I'm going to do a 23 and me and figure out who am I <laughs> because I got a weird accent and um, so I know that I'm Eastern I guess Eastern European so Hungarian Lithuanian on my dad's side and Russian Ukrainian on my mom's side my mom grew up in Germany before she came to America and was adopted by Americans a Russian American couple so I was born in London but I have I don't think I have any British blood. And uh, my parents were working there in the 70s, so my brother and I were born in London, but I went to high school in California, and I've been in America for about 30 years, but I did live in Japan for four years, so I speak Japanese, and I sound weird. <laughs> so who knows? We'll figure this out. I think I'm fully, like, Eastern, I, I think I'm fully Eastern European, Russian, like that area. I don't think there's anything else in me. So we'll see. Okay, so this is what you do. So just to let you know, this is the $100 kit, um, or the $99 kit. You can also get the $199, which I think goes into your medical history, but I already went through the VA hospital genetic testing um, for a couple of years. I was part of a study, so I already have all that information. So save me, save me another $100. All right, so when you get to open the box, you get this little, hi, <laughs> it's like, who are you? I was like, uh, I don't know. First thing you're gonna do is download the app so you can track your spit and saliva. And then basically you have to be hangry. So it's good if no one's around me right now. <laughs> so actually about four hours of not eating and I start just fireballing. I'm just like, feed me. <laughs> so, okay. If you don't have the uh, app or if you are the last person on earth that doesn't have a smartphone, you can also register online. So they assume you have a computer if you don't have a smartphone. Um, and then uh, no food or drink for 30 minutes. Then you're going to, I guess, spit and fill and then close the lid. So it's very similar actually to the um, COVID tests that the government sent me, except I have to stick something up my nose and then just put it in this like solution and then shake it and then put it in like a, what looks like a pregnancy test. This one, I think you just send it back to them. So just make sure that it's all sealed and then put it in the little bag and then you ship it in the box. This is what the box looks like. So this is the back of the box. It comes with a prepaid uh, mailing label for USPS. I have covered my tracking because I do not want you to know where my human specimen is going. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I guess, well, I think by the time I post this video, I'll have the results, obviously. So who cares what the tracking number is? Anyway, but just for my personal protection, even though like our entire lives are on social media. Um, so yeah, so you just take this to the post office once you've um, collected your specimen. Okay, so now I'm gonna spit into this thing and fill it halfway when I've had no food or drink for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna work from the belly. <laughs> This is horrible. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to put it on camera, but you can imagine I'm just going to get some saliva going, spit it in here, and then put it in the bag and mail it. Super easy. No, like, swab or anything, thankfully. Okay, so I spat, or I spitted, and spit and filled up. And <laughs> so then what you do is you close it. This water up here, basically when you close the funnel, it mixes, and that's what figures out who you are, I guess. Yeah, that's the scientific uh, explanation. <laughs> so honestly, I have no idea. I think they put it in a cylindrical G-force thing and separate all the DNA and then figure out who you are after that. So there's a little bit more lab work needed than just spit and, you know, spit and clean. Okay, so this is a big day. So I was hiking and I got a notification that I have my 23andMe results. And actually it took less than a month. I think I sent it out the first week of March and I think like March 5th and it's now um, March 26th. So literally took three weeks to get, or maybe it was longer. I have to double check. I don't want to look at it because I don't want to open the app right now because 
I literally have no idea what the results are. So you're going to see the results with me. So I'm doing a screen share on Zoom um, because this is the easiest way to do a screen share. And I'm going to see how I can do this. Obviously, like if there's any sensitive information as I log in, I'll just, you know, put a picture of a cat or something. So I'm going to sign in. Never signed in on here. I'm going to sign in with Google. Cue cat picture. I'm nervous. Like I, okay. So I know that I'm Eastern European. I sound British, but I have no British ancestry in me as far as I know. So we shall see. Okay. Come on, Google. Sign in. There we go. Okay. All right. So here we go. Which should I do first? Start with my ancestry or start with traits? Well, I'm just a feisty Scorpio, stubborn, whatever. So we already know that. Okay. So I'm going to do start with ancestry. This is ah, so like, I don't, ah, okay. So just let you know, I, when the war in Ukraine started, because I am Ukrainian Russian, partly as far as I know, this may tell me something otherwise. Um, I realized that I may actually have relatives that are in the Ukraine that I don't know about. Um, so my mother was adopted when she was 12 and brought to America. Um, so I know nothing. So let's see, start with ancestry. Okay, so view report. Okay, so my DNA suggests that my ancestry is 69.3% Eastern Europeans with ties to seven other populations. All right, let's see what I am here. Okay, I knew some of this. <laughs> This is really cool. Okay, so I am Eastern European. I'm literally like, well, I have, what's the British bit? I don't think I am. Okay, so Eastern European, 69.3%. Um, Southern European, Greek, Balkan, Italian. That's weird. Did not know that I have any Italian. Ashkenazi Jewish, which I knew when I had my breast cancer gene um, testing about six, seven years ago. Um, so I was unable to get mammograms when I had my daughter at age 34. My sister had breast cancer at 44 and you're supposed to get mammograms 10 years before the onset of your closest relatives age that they had it. So because I had my daughter and I was breastfeeding for like five years and pumping to feed 15 other babies. Um, so I actually didn't stop breastfeeding until I was in my late thirties and like around 39 or so. And so I started having mammograms then, but I was able to get the BRCA1 and BRCA gene, or BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene um, testing. So I knew I have Ashkenazi Jew, broadly European. I don't know what that means. Okay, Northern West Asian. What is that? What is West Asian? That's okay, I, I guess the stands. That's interesting because like, when we're all born, like my daughter was born, she looked Asian, like she had jet black hair. And um, that's interesting. Anatolian. I don't know what that is. Okay. So I am, where is that from? Anatolian is Turkey. I'm Turkish. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. Arab uh egyptian and levantine so coptic egyptian so as you get more into like sub-saharan africa obviously we all came from that part of the world so japanese and korean what what i, I am i am okay hang on a minute i'm 0.5 percent korean this is okay I, this is like mind-blowing Okay, and then un, unassigned ancestry. So this is my little map here. So I am, let's go back through this again. I'm 69.3 Eastern European, which I absolutely know that is true. Yeah, Lithuania, Poland, Russia, Ukraine. So Poland, like Ukraine and all those borders were kind of melded together over the centuries. But okay, three of the four. So Hungarian is what my last name is. My last name is Timar, which is Hungarian. So Lithuanian, Russian, Ukrainian, where's Hungary? Hungary is, it's not even on the map here. I should probably relearn my countries. Okay, so Lithuanian, Polish, 
I don't know about the Polish though, possible mash. I think it's probably Hungarian, Russian and Ukrainian. So I knew, I knew that was me. The other stuff though is kind of crazy. So I am Greek and Balkan. So yeah, okay. So that's where it is. Like, so all these states were all, you know, these countries were all kind of melded together over the years. And there's a lot of, you know, border changing Italian, Greek and Balkan, Italian, Ashkenazi Jew. That's okay. That's the Hungary. So Hungary and I guess Poland, I guess they kind of just put it together. This is, I just, I haven't seen any of this. You, you guys are seeing this with me. This is the bit though, the Asian bit. Japanese and Korean. That's just mind blowing. I don't know where in my, I don't know anything about my family tree, really, especially my mother's side. That's fascinating. All right, let's see. All tested populations. I don't know where that goes. Okay, no, that's just that. That's crazy. Oh my God. That's fascinating. So the Southern European, but no, the, I just, oh my God, like I lived in Japan for four years, but you know, that's, I guess maybe because Asia is so close to Russia and maybe that, you know, like when you look at Siberia, they, you know, in some of the stands, they do have Asian features. That is fascinating. Anatolian. Anatolian would be Turkish. I'm 18% Turkish. That's insane. That's crazy. That's awesome though. North, Northern West Asian, broadly North Asian. So let's see, roughly bounded by Anatolia in the West to Iran and in the East, Northwest Asia has shared genetic heritage going back tens of thousands of years. So I'm Asian. That's just, that's just fascinating. So when I lived in Japan, Northern Japan had a lot of um, Russian influence, um, like not so much in the culture, but um, like you get into like Hokkaido or Northern Japan where I lived uh, for four years, a lot of the signs, the further North you go would be in English, Russian and Japanese. And so there were quite a lot of Russians um, just living in, in that part of the country versus the Southern part of Japan. That is insane. I'm just, that is crazy. Cool. Okay. Scientific details. Um, no, that's just information. Okay. Let me see if I have any family members. Family and view all DNA relatives. Okay. So when I click on this, if there's any like relatives on here, I'll obviously, um, yeah, show my ancestry results, view relatives. Okay. See? <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to show this. I'm just going to show something else while I show this, but okay. My cousin is on here. I know him. I've met him. I have a first cousin. I don't know this person. If I can open these. I don't know this second cousin. I don't know any of these people. This is crazy. These are, these are my family members fourth cousins. That is crazy. Actually, these are really little amounts though. 0.35%. I mean, we're all technically related. Okay. First cousin. That's insane. We share grandparents. Which grandparents? I don't know who this person is. View DNA details. So my mother's mother, my grandmother on my mother's side was from Kiev, but from Kiev. Pronounce it the Ukrainian way, Kiev, not Kiev, which is the Russian way. So in Kiev is my maternal grandmother's birthplace. So we share grandparents. I don't know. So this would be my mother's. I guess my aunt's son, but my, my mother's younger sister doesn't have any kids. 
and my mother's older sister had has two children so i don't think this is this might be the other person i don't know okay i'm gonna keep going all right next one i know this one this is my cousin from california it's my dad's um yeah so my my dad's yeah first cousin so my my dad's sister's son is this kid well there's no kid anymore okay so yeah so we all have all right so that's good go down here i'm just i'm just blown away let me do the traits now you're stubborn and yeah okay cheek dimples i have one on my um my right side cleft chin do not have a cleft chin dandruff do not have dandruff earlobe type yes my wait no my i don't know what i don't know i think i don't have i don't know what my earlobes are supposed to look like i've never pierced my ears earwax type uh no i don't have any earwax eye color my eyes are green chance of greenish blue so yeah i don't know these are just i guess finger length ratio <laughs> you know there was this thing you see these memes that are like just lists off a bunch of different things and it says something about like men's you know something to do with men and then they're like uh you you finish reading the rest of this meme whereas guys are just looking at their forearm so <laughs> it's like i don't know about some of this um hair photo bleaching i don't know what that is freckles i don't know if i have freckles i have dark brown well i have medium brown hair chance you had little or no hair at birth this was me at four months old this was my passport picture when i first got on a plane when i was four months old and yes i had pretty much no hair um yeah my hair is slightly wavy that's true chance i don't have red hair that's true skin pigmentation why well, i never go in the sun so i pretty much have moderately fair skin stretch marks do not have any stretch marks. I lucked out. I basically bathed myself in freaking coconut oil. Toe length ratio. I'm not taking my socks off right now. Unibrow. Do not have a unibrow. Widow's peak. I don't know what that is. That's super cool. I'm just, I'm just uh, all ancestry reports. Okay. I'm just blown away at this. I, oh, here we go. <laughs> Some more things. Eastern European, Anatolian. So I'm Eastern European, Turkish, Greek, Italian, Korean, <laughs> Siberian. So that's probably the Korean bit. I am not an African hunter gatherer. I am not, <laughs> yes, I am not British or Irish. That is true. I'm absolutely not British or Irish. At least that's accurate. If it came back and said that I'm Scottish or something, I'd be like, you know what? I need to, I need to recount. I am not British or Irish. That is hilarious. <laughs> but I sound British. <laughs> oh my God, this is too fun. I'm going to have to just like go through this again without you guys all watching. But yeah, yep. Just was born in London and uh that's it that's all i was born in london to my american parents who were working there at the time that is hilarious oh my god okay go down here i am not central asian i'm not chinese i'm not cypriot which is like there's half greek part of the island and half turkish part of the island um even though i have apparently turkish <laughs> uh ethiopian etrian Eritrean, uh, Filipino, and Austronesian, Finnish, French, and German, which is interesting because my mother grew up in an orphanage in Germany, and um, my cousin was born in Germany um, from my older, well, my mom's older sister, my aunt, um, didn't, she wasn't adopted with her young, with my, I have three, three aunts, or my mom and two aunts, and so my mom and the younger aunt were adopted in the 50s and brought to America. And the older aunt was too old to be adopted. So she stayed in Germany near Munich. And um, that's when she had 
um, her two kids. And so um, they, uh, so she never moved. And then she passed away in 1990. Um, so I guess my cousin, if he did this, it would be, it would say German. I guess it's done by like where you were raised or something. I don't know. But the only reason that my, really that my aunts, my two aunts and my mom were in Germany was because they were orphaned. So, um, and my mom didn't speak English till she was 12, which is like crazy to think about that. Like English is not, you know, like she didn't know English, like until she was 12 years old. Um, yeah. So I'm none of these. I'm not definitely not Scandinavian, definitely not, um, Spanish or Portuguese, South American, Caribbean. What does it say? I do not have any Caribbean ancestors and I do not have, it's weird that it doesn't even have a percentage, um, not South American, but this just blows my mind. This bit, that is pretty cool. 0.5 of my ancestry is Korean, but like a long time ago, like in the Bronze Age. That food looks really good though. That's just insane. I love it. This is so fun. You should definitely do it. The best $99 that I've ever spent is doing this. Neanderthal ancestry. Excuse me, I'm not Neanderthal. Let's see what this is all about. I have more D Neanderthal DNA than 53%. What does it mean? A Neanderthal is like, it's not even human, right? That's a different... It's a different type of human. <laughs> awesome. I have the worst sense of direction. Hell yes. I'm always falling down. I can be a better sprinter than a distance runner. That's interesting. I prefer salty sweet foods over sweet. Yes, I actually do not like candy. I don't have any dandruff though. What's up with that? I eat leafy greens less frequency. Well, no, I actually like salads a lot. I'm just not a hunter gatherer, so I don't like go get my own salad out of the ground. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my God. I do have the worst sense of direction. Great. I'm a freaking Neanderthal. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Maternal haplop group. My maternal line. Yeah, that's about right. Eastern European. Okay. So that works. A long time ago, like 65,000 years ago. Okay. See report from my dad. I descend from a. I didn't find anything. Oh, be quiet. I descend from a long line of men that can be traced back to Eastern Africa over 275,000 years ago. Though you do not have a paternal haplo group, you can trace the story of your paternal line through the haplo group of my father. Well, my father's dead. And my brother, I don't think he's done this yet. Already have a biological brother or father. Well, not my dad. I don't know if my brother's on here. Obviously not. I don't know. He should. I should get my family to do this. This is interesting. I know my niece did it. Um, my mom, my sister's, my older sister's daughter. And it was like all this in European and then like the little bit, like the half of her that's like British because her dad's British. So that was super interesting. Um, ancestry composition. That's just, that just blows my mind. That is super cool. All right. Well, that's it for my, um, my uh, 23 and me. So thank you for watching and sorry if I was babbling a lot, but um, that's super cool. I'm like, just so glad I did this. And I'm going to find out who all these people are. <laughs> so, um, oh, that's super cool. More people should do this. So we have more data. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. I just, except I just had no expectation that I have any Asian, like uh, Far East Asian rather than Western Asian. That's really cool. All right. So now I know who I am, <laughs> even though I don't sound like anything that's on this list. So 30 years in America and my accent still won't go away. So anyway, thank you for watching. And yeah, so uh Go ahead and do this. I have no affiliation with 23andMe. They're not sponsoring this or anything. I just wanted to do this after, you know, many years of waiting for them to get more data. So super happy I did this.
super cool.